All right, you guys, what is up? Sure, Goblin here, and on today's video, um, I wanted to um, tell you guys some stuff, update you guys. Um, and it's mostly about the Hunter Call of the Wild. So, I'm playing with a friend named Sly Fox, and he watches my videos as well. And he and I are going to be doing some hunting this week. I get two days off. I get, um, I work today, and then I'm off tomorrow and Friday, and I work Saturday from eight to five. I mean, not eight to five, um, from eleven to eight, and then I'm off on Sunday. The next three days, I will be playing the Hunter Call of the Wild, also helping out my mom with stuff, but mainly also helping out my, but mainly also is that Ethan? They look like Ethan, but it's not. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to be testing out the new Zarzar. 308, 10, 308. And it's pretty cool. I've already tested it out a couple of times on some lions. Some lesser kudu just dropped the lesser kudu, just smacked them. Um, and some Gims Bug. The Gims Bug just double lung shot at them. And even the 300 Magnum won't even do that. Even at 100 yards. But 100 yards with a Zarzar 308 just completely annihilates them. And is pretty good. Like, even on a warthog, it just like double lung shots them. And even on a Cape Buffalo, man, it at least gets a single lung. Which the 300 Magnum and the 7 mil can't seem to ever do at even 100 yards. Which the 7 mil, every once in a while, it has its moments. But I mean, the Zarzar performed beautifully. Every single time I needed to actually get a single lung at least into the Cape Buffalo, even at a slightly less angle, it worked beautifully. And I'm also going to be going out on Silver Ridge, testing it out. I'm going to also go on Layden Lakes and Hirschfelton and a few other maps to test them out. But I think the game is working beautifully. I love the new reticle. There's a little reticle that you can actually add or remove. You have a choice. And then, for those of you guys, this may actually be a new step up for beginners. Because this may actually help them more. When you get the game and you had, like, if you had just gotten this game for the first time... And you start playing it, and the first thing you want to do is actually get a really powerful gun. Besides the two two, besides the two fourth, two forty three, the new Rhino. They added a new skin in honor of the of the of the of their fifth anniversary. And not only that, but they also unlock. You get the new gun for free, the new Rhino pistol for free, a new skin. But you also get the higher quality bullets, the uh, solid brass points or whatever. And those are something that I need. I want to test them out on Cape Buffalo. Because I've tested out the small, the uh, hollow tips. They ain't really that good. And also, my, look at my hand. Look at how much. Look at this. Yesterday, this thing was flying all over the place. So. It's going to be... Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be getting my hair cut. But, um, yeah, I am loving the new the new Radicals features, which you can also add different... Change it different colors and stuff. And some other stuff, which i got to play around with. But, yeah, I think Hunter Call of the Wild, the expensive roads if you guys watch my videos or even pay attention to my videos 
awesome job on the game. For once, you guys aren't trying to fix the game. You're just making the game a lot better. And I gotta say, even last night, I even went around trying to get some new hot spots and some new need zones and stuff because they removed all the need zones. So you have to it's sort of like restarting the game. And also, if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, it's a jacket, fishing jacket. Comes with a little hoodie, a little net hoodie. Just in case it rains. And I just wanted to test out, see how well it works. It's just working pretty good. But as I was saying, um, yeah, I gotta unlock all the need zones and stuff. I did find where the key, I did watch Flinters and Scarecrows, well, actually, I think it was Scarecrows, uh, videos, and on one of his videos where he was in Africa, on Verhunga Savannah, he talked about how Cape Buffalo were in a certain area of the map that they aren't usually at on the lake. I went to that lake because I wanted to test it out and see if it was actually true, and what do you know? The first thing I see is an aid mythical Cape Buffalo. And I decide to destroy it by shooting with the Zarzar, which is not powerful enough uh, AR to actually kill the thing, but it's enough to actually put him down, apparently. It's one single long shot. Came straight toward me, decided to go aggressive. And then within a matter of seconds, he was dead. He didn't even make it to me. So, yeah, I'm definitely loving the, uh, the new weapons and stuff. Can't wait to test out the new 23. The, I mean, the new 22H Hornet and see how well that gun performs because they did amp it up. They did amp up a little bit more damage and power to it. So in that way you have, and they also reset the raccoons to be a level two instead of a level one, which honestly, it makes more sense because they're not ducks or rabbits. They don't flop over when you shoot them. And it's not an insta-kill when you shoot them. They run a ways, a little ways before they go down. So I think it's a little more accurate to what they've got and but yeah all I can say is they've done a good job on the game and for those of you guys who are starters get the new rhino get a few kills with some white tails then get the rhino unlock the free rhino that you get with a cool skin get the uh, more expensive 860 uh, rounds and you'll be dropping deer today and earning a lot of cash. So, yeah. I'm going to be starting some grinds. I'm going to start a whitetail grind with the new Zarzar. And I'm even going to try. I'm going to try and get a diamond female games book. If I, I've already got a male. But if I can get a female, I'll have both, both genders. Which will be awesome. So, yeah. But that's what's been going on and on. Uh, the, for this update, that's all I need to let you guys know. I'm not going to be buying any other games. I did buy my friend a game. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to be buying Ethan a game. Not, I haven't bought it for him yet, but I'm going to. And so, yeah. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video, which I want these games, once these videos upload onto my phone i'll upload onto youtube so hopefully you guys will get to enjoy those videos i hope and yeah so without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video sure goblin out